Hey everybody, welcome back for some more Far Cry 5. If you're having fun with this playthrough, go ahead and press those like and subscribe buttons. And now let's continue. Alright, so, do you guys... Oh. Alright. <laughs> well, well Jacob is doing his best his best manager. Mariah Carey impersonation there. <laughs> in any case, we still have a few points in order to uh, get Jacob, let me show you. So we you can see we are almost at the uh, fourth uh stage checkpoint there. My bet is if we do one uh, or two missions more, we're gonna get there. It's my new campaign manager. Got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring egghead stuff involving redrawn voting districts. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn peggies ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is... They vote. Now, the eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but a permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm not saying to murder anyone because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would probably help my chances. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You can take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touched. Well, what you're waiting for? Get moving. Oh, oh man. What of kind of a father are you? <clears throat> All right, so make hope great again. Let's uh, see how far away is that. Oh, it is quite far away, so... Let's find a mean of transportation and uh, get there. All right, so there's our objective. Let's set this baby down. Although I could just go in with a helicopter. It says secure the crossroads, so you know what? Let's have some fun with a helicopter. The only bad thing is I cannot actually see where the bad guys are. Oh, helicopter. Alright, is it secure already? Accidentally is one way of putting it. Canadians are also pretty clumsy and not voting for me, but no pressure. For now, get gotta get this done because it's gonna explode sooner or later. Oh, but we actually completed it in time. Nice. Tell you what, how about 
you take old Nancy. You go around cleaning up this county in that truck, and all them prospective voters will know who's got their backs. Oh, and please don't bring her junior back. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> So did we provoke him? Yes, we provoked Jason Seed. Ah, uh, Jacob Seed. Now, sooner or later, he's gonna come and take me again for the final boss mission. Well, it's not actually a final boss mission. It's uh, I think it's a string of three different missions, and there he goes. He is taking me. All right, Jacob. Let's face one more time. Oh, that damn box. Ouch, man. Don't worry, you'll be out of here soon enough. Did you think you were free? Well, your little buddy went to a whole lot of trouble for nothing. That's okay. He knows better now. I told you, you're not a hero. You are a tool. You know your purpose. You've known it from the beginning. I really gotta know what the heck is inside that little box that, I, that indoctrinates people. <laughs> now you know what we're gonna do. But now, you kind of see that the enemies are getting uh, more and more... ...more and more plentiful. Good. Call the herd. Oh, who's behind me? Jesus, man. So, now you're gonna see why he has us running this, uh, this test, this course over and over again. It will finally make sense to you. Yes, sacrifice the weak. Keep moving. Good. Not bad. And now the final guy. Look at him. You recognize him, right? I gotta do this to finish it, though. He's not shooting me, though. So you kinda know what I just did there. I killed actual Eli. Only you could make this world seem right. Only you could make the dark. to the weak. 
I call the herd. It's what I do. I'll be outside waiting for you. And now reality hits home. What the fuck did you do? You fucking killed him! Wait! You fucking piece of shit! Weedy! You fucked the two! Weedy! I fucked the two! Wait! Weedy! It was Jacob! No! Listen to me. It was Jacob. We've seen this before. Ronnie, Parker, this is what he does. And we let him right in. You find that motherfucker. You find Jacob. And you kill him. Or next time I see you, so help me God, I'll kill you myself. Oh, I am gonna kill him. Let's go. Uh, now we gotta destroy these beacons before we get to reach oh man how badly did that miss that didn't even land don't fight it just let go you've served your purpose you're tougher than I thought but killing me won't change a goddamn thing. You think I give a shit if I die? That's my purpose. I give my life for Joseph's, and I do it gladly. I understand my role. I am his sacrifice. Simple as that. What the heck is happening? Somebody's hurting me. You go back to running errands for a teenager and a housewife? The White Tails are nothing without Eli. You are nothing without Eli. Man, this is trippy yet again. Now we actually do not have a timer, so I can't afford to take things slow if I want to. Where are you? Somebody shooting at me and I, I cannot see him. Don't you find it ironic that everyone you try to help winds up worse off? Eli, Pratt, tragedy just follows you. If you really wanted to keep people safe, be a hero. You just off yourself. Safer for everyone that way. Or I could off you and make the world safer this way. Just saying. You are meat. Oh, these guys are just respawning, so I better get a move on. You can't stop fate. Pointless. 
Oh, jeez. Oh man, let's get out the high ground because I cannot get a good angle on this. Now let's go for the final one. And after we do that, we probably are going to face Mr. Joseph Seed. Ah, Jacob, I mean, man. What the heck? Man, I hate this thing spawning right on top of me. That is a cheap tactic, Ubisoft. Very cheap. Oh man, Jesus. Nice, so come on, Jacob. Face me. And there he is. Mr. Jacob Seed. Which is weirdly enough kind of a peaceful boss fight because you are taking it very slow now. Now he can see me though, so we gotta run between cover points here. Where are you, wolf? The problem is, Jacob is uh, kind of on to me. So let's let this guy come to me here. The heretics down there. All right, now he knows where I am. Gotta make this fast. Zigzagging. <laughs> oh, jeez, he got me. Oh, man. Okay, ah, uh, he's got an A mode. That's safe to say. What the heck? Where did you spawn? Oh man. Okay, this guy probably best taken out with a grenade. The problem is he keeps the same line of sight with this guy, with uh, Jacob, so... What thing did I throw? <laughs> I just throw a bait. Oh, die already. Stick on him. Come on. Alright, so that guy's done. We still have to deal with Mr. Jacob Seed. Can we get him from here? That would be weird, right? Oh, I actually can! Nice! Bye-bye, Jacob Seed! My brother saw all this coming. I don't know if he talks to God. That doesn't matter. He was right. Humanity is once again in crisis. It doesn't matter what we build or achieve. We will always find a way <laughs> to break it down. Babylon, Rome, empires rise, <laughs> empires fall, America, <sighs> we're no different, we think we're indestructible, World War II, war on terror, <sighs> we survived it, but it only brought us closer to the edge, 
And this is where we are, right here on schedule, just waiting for someone to push us. And oh boy, if you pushed us, <coughs> you did everything he said you would do. And you didn't even know it. You had no fucking clue. Ah, oh, sleep tight, man. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. And now... Now the time has come to go face the father himself. I don't know if thank you is the right thing to say, but... Well, Eli's death won't be in vain now. I'm sorry about what's happened, truly. You ain't the only one to blame, but... Now ain't the time to mourn or point fingers. That deputy Pratt of yours and a whole bunch of our white tails are wasting away in Jacob's armory. Get moving. We're counting on you. Oh, yes, we have to uh, go and free everybody from Jacob's armory. Deputy, you might want to pop in a nearby shop and check out some new gear. That's actually quite far away, so let's get a chopper and get going over there. All right, so we are coming up on the bunker. Kind of wondering now, will the game allow me? Oh, the sniper didn't get him. Alright, let's settle down. Because they are gonna destroy the chopper anyway. I'm not using my LMG as a sniper weapon, and I obviously shouldn't. Oh, can you come with me? That would be epic. Or aren't you not allowed? Oh man, usually uh, companions are not allowed during the final missions. See, he disappeared. All right, we've been here before. This time we are infiltrating, though. This time we are okay. the aggressors. I think I figured it out. Looks like they keep their prisoners all the way at the bottom of that bunker. If you're gonna rescue Pratt, you'll need to start at the control room. The whole place is probably on lockdown by now, but if you head there, you should be able to undo that with Jacob's key. Good luck. All right, should we do this as surgical operation? And should we dare turn this into a bloody stand shootout? <laughs> Find out what the hell that was. Uh, okay, quickly, give me that. Someone will answer for this. Lockdown initiated. Pressure door sealed. What? Actually, that's the way I'm gonna go. Oh man. Right as I was reloading. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I like finishing them off with a punch or a kick. Is this where I'm going? Probably have to get the long way around. Contact! Oh, 
Well, this gun here could come in handy. What pressure doors unlocked is the worst thing you could ever be. Hmm. Oh, that barrel is making me nervous. The father chooses. Yeah. The father knows all. No. This is actually pretty quiet for a final mission. Although I fully expect it to become a... Uh... Good lord! Grenade! On the move! You know what I should do? Probably cook my grenades instead of throwing them like that. That's why they have time to run away. I'm not really a grenade guy when playing games. That's why I usually suck at them. <laughs> Pretty quiet. Man, I cannot get over how quiet this is. Okay, cutscene incoming. Let's see. Rock, are you real? Yeah, man. Come on, let's go. It's not the time now. Get up, man. Be strong. crazy now. Okay, Jesus, you did, man. Okay, calm down. What's in there? Your gun? Ooh, nice. Two LMGs now. Let's go get him, buddy. They may be strong. And now they are weak. And the weak must be cold. Oh jeez. Okay, come back to me, God, buddy. Get a grip on reality. Go. All right. No place is safe. You know what? Two LMGs. Let's do this. Gotta go up there, huh? Okay, let's find uh, let's find a stair or something. Are you coming, buddy? Come on. Oh, wrong staircase. How did that happen? Okay, let's find another way. Is he with me? Come on, man. 
Sorry. He's lagging way too far, far behind. Oh man. Okay, this guy. You think you can get away with it? Kill it, Jacob. Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> Oh man, the fire. Gotta watch out for that. Okay, now we're just running. Trying to avoid drowning, I guess. Another bunker bites the dust. <laughs> Whitehall Mountains liberated. And now, Joseph Seed, we're coming for you. Each of us found the white tail in our own ways. But what brought us here was lost. Families. Friends. Eli gave us back a little piece of that. He showed us the only thing we can rely on is each other. He was my friend. And I'm going to miss him. It wasn't you, Eli knows that. Eli thought if we could just hang on, wait it out, Eden's Gate would just go away. But they won't. Fuck, no, they won't. Cancer doesn't fit. It grows. It spreads. You have to cut it out. Yeah. These fucking Peggy's believe the end of the world is coming. Yeah. It is for them. Eden's gate ends today. Peggy. We won't stop until every last one of those motherfuckers yes. is taken from these trees. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. Hoorah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Don't celebrate too prematurely, though, guys. We still have the father, the ultimate baddie. Who's crying? Oh, boo hoo. Another seal has been opened. My family, my brothers, my sisters, they've been taken from me by a snake in the garden. All the mucus, Jesus. <sighs> <sighs> I thought I knew God's plan. <laughs> but I was wrong. 
I was blind. <laughs> and soon dead. But now I see. You took my family from me so that I could have yours. We will welcome them with open arms. Just as we will welcome you. We will be waiting for you. Where it all began. And it all began in the church. So we are gonna head back there now. For a final round, a final battle for the Far Cry 5 game. This is my Assassin's Creed outfit, by the way. Just in case uh, you haven't seen this before. Hey, buddy. How are you feeling? Maybe we didn't survive that crash. Maybe all this is purgatory. We have to atone for all the shit we've done before we can leave this place. We have to suffer before God will grant us salvation. Oh man, this guy has been kind of indoctrinated. Listen up, deputy. I'm thinking we've reached the end of the line. Time to cowboy up and deal with Joseph Seed once and for all. He's waiting for you at his church. Where it all began. The final story mission for Far Cry 5. All right. Let's get going. And there we are. The church where it all began. Where we tried to arrest uh, Joseph Seed. Along with the marshal. They didn't allow us. Let's see if we will succeed this time around. When the Lamb broke the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of the martyrs, slain because of the word of God. You made martyrs of my family. And I am prepared to do the same to yours. God is watching us and he will judge us on what we choose in this moment. I told you that we were living in a world on the brink where every slight, every injustice, where every choice reveals our sins and where have those sins led us. Where have those sins led you? Your friends have been taken and tortured. And it's your fault. Countless people have been killed and it is your fault. The world is on fire and it's your fault. Was it worth it? Was it? When are you going to realize that every problem cannot be solved with a bullet? When you first came here, I gave you the choice to walk away. You chose not to. In the face of God, I'm making you that offer one last time. You put down your guns. And you take your friends. You leave me my flock. And you go in peace. Go in peace. You're fucking insane. Is he? We never should have been here in the first place. You know what to do, Rook. 
And here comes the final choice of the game. Choose to resist or not. God is watching. In the first playthrough I chose to resist and I ended up fighting my friends, saving them and then he blew the entire world up with a nuke. This time I'm gonna choose to walk away just to see what happens. Let's see what happens. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Take your friends, my child, and go. Is he really gonna let me take my friends and go? Brooke, let's go. What? What are you doing? Brooke, Sheriff! Get in the truck. I'm not leaving. Hudson, get in the truck. You lost your fucking mind. Get in the goddamn truck! Sometimes it's best to just leave well enough alone. Is it gonna end like that? Let's go. Is he just gonna let us leave? And is she just gonna let him leave? I'm very interested to see what happens. Will he blow the world up again? So many questions. Does it even matter what choice we made? This is the first time I'm getting this ending, so I'm kind of anxious to see whether there's a surprise in store for us. Up to now, we just seem to be driving away. Sir, with all due respect, what the fuck? We can't just leave those people. We're not going to leave those people. We're going to Missoula. We're going to get the National Guard and we're going to bring the hammer down on that goddamn place. No, no way. I'm not going to be a part of this. You heard what he said. You're going to do exactly as you're told, Pratt. Oh, what's happening? What's wrong? Oh, man, he took me again, I guess. I was indoctrinated the entire time. Oh man. Okay, so thank you guys for watching the entire game for me or even watching the final episode to see how it ends. This was a fun game. I'll be honest, I liked Far Cry 3 and 4 more, but this was a fun one as well. The main bad guys in the Far Cry series, man, they are they are well done. So, yeah. I guess this is it. Thank you guys for watching. Kindly ask you to maybe like and subscribe if you want to help my small channel grow. And I will see you in the next game. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.